Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to another video from the Golf Club 2. We're going to be doing some offline career today, so we're going to get this loaded up right now. While this is loading up, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of those people that have tuned in and watched videos from my YouTube channel and also subscribed to the YouTube channel. I am about 36 subscribers away from that magic 1000 subscriber mark that I'm looking to hit. So if anybody is watching this after it's broadcast live on Twitch and you're watching this on YouTube and you'd like to subscribe to the channel I would definitely appreciate the subscription if you are watching this live on Twitch and you haven't checked out my YouTube channel be sure to have a look at that I'd also like to say thank you to all those people that took part in the first event in the online society which was the True North Invitational that event is now closed everybody should have been paid out their winnings depending on whether where they finished the winning score was 45 under par and Keeler 1978 won that. Um, I've made some changes to the clubhouse with the and also the society. I've leveled the society up to level 3. I've also purchased a new clubhouse for the society as well. And the second event, the Veni Vidi Vici Classic is now open to be played. So if you guys are part of the online society which is the True North Golf Society check it out it is ready to be played good luck and godspeed um, if you haven't yet joined the society it doesn't cost any money to join the society any of the coins that you earn in the offline game it doesn't cost anything to join all we ask is 200 coins for each event that you enter 75% of that goes to the overall purse 25% goes to the society for me to do changes to the clubhouse and upgrade the society to um, to bigger levels. Um, that's about it from a news perspective. Let's have a quick look. Rider 0055, will you be streaming multiplayer after I've created a new course if you'd like to play it? Um, I'm not sure at the moment, Ryder. I'm going to do this offline one. I've been, you know what, I've, to be honest, I've spent the entire morning to be honest with you creating a course and i am still only eight holes through so i've put a good sort of 15 hours into this new course that i'm creating i haven't actually spent a lot of time doing it since the early access on pc and tgc1 so um, i may go back on that i may go and do some multiplayer drop the name of your course into the uh into the the twitch chat stream and um, I may check it out afterwards but thank you very much for hooking me up with that comment and thank you to everybody that has joined the Twitch stream so let's jump straight into this offline event it's event number six of ten I want to get to the end of this I've got 13,000 coins at the top there and they are burning a hole in my virtual pocket I really want to spend them and level up to level five but I don't really want to do that until I have finished this particular season because then on the next season I can change the um, the AI difficulty to hard or even hardest just to get just to have a little bit more competition. There hasn't been an event I haven't won yet. I think I've played this course. I'm not entirely sure. I think this is um, Atlantic. Is it the Lynx at Atlantic Bay or something along those lines? We'll have a look. It'll come up on the screen momentarily. Northern Forest Golf Club. No, it wasn't the uh, that links at Atlantic Bay. I thought it was. No, sorry, that's in the online society. Um, I don't think I've played this course. Um, Rider 0055 is called River Valley Country Club. Wicked. I will certainly check it out. Um, I may even stream it live. So if I do stream that live, I will let you know and you can join me for a round. Uh, lol, I have 16,000 coins and I don't play career mode. Maybe I'll start today. Yeah, you definitely should. My advice to you would be do not start with the AI at medium. 
you won't lose a single event. It won't be challenging, it won't be enjoyable. Um, I am sort of persevering with it just so I can get to the next event but um, or get to the next season but I want to spend my coins afterwards and I will do that in a video. This is a tiny green. It's 114 yards. Put that up quite a lot. Added some more distance to the club. The wind should bring that back into the green. A little bit long. That's okay, it's held the green. I fear that I'm gonna have a downhill putt. No, I haven't, I've got an uphill putt, which is great. Didn't wanna be beyond that. Uh... Let's have a look at this. I don't know how fast these green speeds are. I didn't think to have a look. 164, so they're not that fast. It was tracking nice, just needed a little more pushing. All right. Yeah, so I am in the throes of creating a uh, creating a new course. I um, I'm pretty much making it up as I go along. It's a completely fictitious course. I'd be keen for you guys to try it out once I've done it. Um, I will be sure to let you know when I when I've published it. And I'll probably put it into the first event. I'm probably going to make it the home course on um, on the online society because uh, you can change that at any time. So I'll probably do that. Get in. And similarly, I will probably make it the first event of the second season because I'd like to see what people think and I'm going to get a decent amount of plays then because then uh, pe everybody in the society hopefully we should be up around 200 by then um, but I think you guys will enjoy it some holes are get in some holes are easy uh, some holes are more challenging but one thing you can say for the course is that it is definitely wow that moved badly it is definitely picturesque um, I've spent a lot of time making it look really nice. But I think by the time I've finished it, it's probably going to have taken me about 40 to 50 hours. I think I'm probably about 15 hours in already. Um, I'm literally just doing the holes at the moment. I'm not spending time, you know, beautifying the course at the moment with you know, things like benches, ball washers, buggies, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I need to do that afterwards and I'm jabbering so much I'm making a right pig's ear of this round and that's just dribbled into the rough. Uh, Ryder 0055, the front line on my course is easy but the back is difficult. Mm. I'm looking forward to playing it. Is that going to get the le have the legs to get there? I don't think so because it's going to hit that slope and it's going to stop. 14 yards uphill. That was a nice little chip. Hopefully I can pick up the par here. I really need to start getting some birdies because I'm not atop the leaderboard, but I don't think it will be long. That should be a par. Yeah, five guys ahead of me now. John Rahm there again, Jason Kokrak. Um, Bradley Stone, I think it is. Um, Wang, I'm not sure what his first name is. Joost Leuten from the Netherlands, he's up there as well. All right, I haven't actually played this course before, so it is it is really really nice. That's the other thing I haven't done as well. I haven't stuck any yardage markers. 
or anything like that so I need to get on and do all of that but I'm probably going to do those little bits towards the end I feel that they they do need to be in there it just adds that extra little bit um, I've done some bits here and there you know I've added in things like some red stakes around some um, some water hazards and things like that but not not an awful lot not as much as I would like to anyway hit that fast on the downswing and that's going to come up short and left so not having the best round so far um, could be an awful lot better to be honest guys that's a better chip much better that's in for a birdie So we're back to level, one behind the leader now, Justin Rose at one under par. Hole number five. I think this is only a one round tournament, so it shouldn't take too long to get through this. Nice straight drive. Should be smack bang in the fairway, which it is. This is a par four, still got 188 yards to go. And 19 feet uphill, so it is 194. I've got 200 yards with this club. Into the wind, I'm hoping this is gonna get there. Perfect, perfect, nice and straight. Is it gonna have the legs? It looks like no, not quite. Only just, guys, not too far away at all. But nevertheless, we're in the bunker. Let's see if we can play a nice flop shot here. Oh, thought that was gonna be another one. Just chipped in on the previous hole. in for par on this one so we should remain at level yeah still at level Justin Rose has come back into the field he is now level he's dropped a shot somewhere and this is the first of the par fives the sixth hole maybe a little right but it should still be in the fairway is it going to hold though that's the thing is it going to roll out no that looks all good to me 288 we're not getting there in two just need to make sure this ends up in the short stuff that looks good as well is it going to stay in the fairway i need a good kick to the left yeah absolutely spot on should leave myself about 40 yards to the flag exactly 40 yards 39 plus 2 41 yards a great pitch shot there and that should set up a pretty Stock standard, easy birdie putt. There we go. You put them that close to the flag, you aren't going to miss them. One under par. You take the lead out right now. This looks like a par three to me. It is. One, nine, three. So I'm going to have to add some onto this club, I fear. Because the wind's picked up to 13 mile an hour. This is a tough, tough shot. It would be good to be on that upper level, but I need the wind to pull it around to the left ever so slightly, which it is doing. That could be very, very good. Very, very good considering that green. It is a tough, tough green. And that drops for another birdie. So we go to two under par in quite uh, two birdies in quite six. Uh, quick succession and we're absolutely pasting through this round guys we're almost finished the first nine you know what I think I have played this because I remember this hole I remember being fearful of going out the fairway 
so I'm dropping down to the five wood. I'm gonna let the wind bring that round and hopefully still hold the fairway. Yeah, that looks good. It's a short hole, it's sub 400 yards, so 243 is going to leave me a buck 50 to the hole. Looks good, it's going to catch the slope, which is going to feed it down towards the flag, that's okay. It's probably going to be a downhill putt here though. Yeah, downhill, moving to the right at the end. Should swing now, there we go. Now under par, still under par, but another shot under par, now three under par. Okay, final hole on the front nine, another par five, 30 mile an hour wind behind, so this should be a piece of cake to reach the green, provided I can hold the fairway off the tee. Looks good, looks really good. It's gonna catch that slope as well. We got 300 yards. The 229 to the flag, I'm gonna drop this down to my 200 club. I may dribble into that rough there, but I'm not too bothered about that. It is a par five and we should have no problem getting up and down. May even get a good bounce onto the green here. Not quite but it's in the fairway. Right, 16 yards. Couldn't play a chip shot an awful lot better than that, other than getting it in the hole. And that's nine holes done, I think we're four under par. Yep, Sergio's now jumped up into second position on his own at one under par. And if you just joined the Twitch stream, welcome along, thank you for joining us. I think I have completely messed that up. Whiskey Ginger 55, morning Tim, I want to play later if you're on. Um, I'm not going to be on later I'm afraid. I, um, I, um, I, I have a, a, another engagement later so unfortunately I'm not going to be on later but uh, I may very well be on tomorrow evening or the, the evening after that so I will keep an eye out for you. If you see me on the Twitch stream um, send me an invitation, I will gladly have a round. Alright, I got that on the green. I didn't think, I was I was struggling because I was in between clubs there. It was really, really difficult to make a choice there. But I'm on the green. It's going to be a long putt. I've got 44 feet. All moving from the right. That's okay, that's going to be a couple of feet. Five feet for par, that's a tough little hole that is. Stay at four under par. Right, this is a nice looking little hole. Hundred and nineteen yards. Wind moving in from the right. Couldn't have played it much straighter than that. That wind absolutely took that miles though. And I probably took more off the club than I needed to.
Oh, that's a hell of a putt. One foot uphill, moving very slightly from left to right, 19 feet. Uh, whiskey ginger are oh, all good. We will link up. Any chance of making less time for online society tournaments? A way to get two tournaments in per week. Um, I've already reduced it from seven days to four days. I think if I make it any less than four days, um, I think some of the members will struggle to get all four rounds in. I know some people play four rounds back to back. Um, I normally play a couple at a time, but I know that there are people out there that probably can only manage to squeeze in one round a day. So I think being four round tournaments and being four days, um, I'm going to leave it as it is for the time being. Two rounds a week would mean I would need to drop it down to three days. Um, let's see how the rest of the season goes at four days and then we will um, i'll reevaluate it after that but i do take your uh, i take your point on board um and i will make a judgment call at the end of this first season yeah i don't think I've, i don't think anybody will uh begrudge paying an additional 200 coins a week because i mean you pick up you pick up 200 coins in a in a round that you play on your own anyway so it's uh, I don't think the coins are going to be any issue for anybody um, I know what you mean it just means that you get through the seasons a lot quicker um, but I just want to make sure that it keeps everybody happy I may do a twitch stream on Friday night um, see how many people we get in the Twitch stream and then throw that question out there to everybody and see what the general consensus is. But uh, for the time being, I'll leave it at four days. All right, going along nicely here, pretty much under the radar actually. Um, I haven't really looked at the score, but I am six under par, so going along fantastically. This, I, you, I was just going to say, what's the stroke index on this hole? Because this is a long par 4. Still had 207 yards into the flag there. That could do with biting. That's okay though. To even hit the green and hold the green in 2 on that par 4. That 460 yard yards is an achievement in itself. So I'm pleased with that. Just going to get this moving towards the flag. Oh, I thought that was going to drop for a minute. All right, Whiskey Gingers, 55. Understandable. I came in 29th in this past tournament. That's pretty good, my friend. There was almost, um, I think there was well over 100 people in it. We need to get a vote or have early 1981 start, start one so we can run them alongside each other. Going to be a lot of fun having you being involved and the majors as we level up yeah definitely going to be doing the majors uh, there are a couple of really good courses out there at the moment um, Turnbury's out there um, Magnolia we know is out there St Andrews is out there and all of these courses are ones that we can use for majors um, I just need to get a couple more US courses just so we can uh, put the PGA Championship in there and also the US Open. But I feel that I, I feel that I am going to use the names as they are. I'm going to use the US Open, the Open, the Masters and the PGA Championship. Uh, Frodo Fox just joined the stream. Is this a tournament you run? Uh, the one that I'm in at the... Um, are we talking about the one I'm playing or the one that he's talking about on the um, on the chat? If you just want to clarify that for me, I'd be happy to answer the question. That's going to run out. Uh... Right, uh, just hit into three bunkers on the same hole on my own course. Uh, the one in the chat, um, so we're talking about the online society I've created. So if you want to check it out, it's called the True North Golf Society. We've got almost 200 members now. Um, 
no money to join the society, 200 coins for each event. There's five events in the first season and that was a crappy flock shot, very slow on the downswing. Five events in the first season, we finished the first one already, we're into the second one. The more members we get, the larger the purse becomes. Get in. Um, there are four, four rounds, four days, and we've got four more tournaments, uh, four more events to play in this, this first season. I have just upgraded the, uh, the clubhouse. And I've also just upgraded or leveled up the society, so we are moving in the right direction. That has gone off to the right. I need the wind to straighten that out. And I actually finished tenth in the first uh, the first event, so I'm pretty pleased with that result. Albeit I was a long way behind the leader. The leader finished at 45 under par. Incredible, eh? And I finished at 26, I think it was. But it was enjoyable nonetheless. Um, Rider 0055 finished 149 in the last tournament for the Society. Yikes, lol. What did you earn for the top 10 finish? I think I earned about 700 coins. So it wasn't too bad. Um, the pot... The pot was around about 21,000 coins, the purse. So, um, yeah, I think I, earned, I think I earned about 700 coins. Uh, okay, thank you. I only use player clubs, is that okay? Mate, I use player clubs too, so more than fine. More than fine. There's no restrictions in the club. There's no handicaps. There's no restrictions on club. Um, green grids, nothing, there's absolutely nothing, so you play exactly how you want to play, my friend. 700 is fantastic and will continue to grow. Yeah, it will, uh, it is definitely going to continue to grow. The, uh, the society is going really well. And if you guys, um, if anybody's in the Twitch stream at the moment that uh, wants to see some of the videos from the online rounds that I did, uh, check out my YouTube channel. It is Tim Wilson UK, much exactly the same as what it is on the stream. Um, I've posted quite a few videos over the last couple of weeks. Thoroughly enjoying doing it at the moment. Striving for that magic 1,000 subscriber finish. That was a terrible approach shot. Um, 1,000 subscriber mark, sorry. And um, I'm only about 36 subscribers away, so I would appreciate anybody that is um, would do me a solid and check out the channel and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, guys. Oh, get in. Oh, how did that not drop? Okay, I'll sign up then, buddy. Winning isn't important, but just enjoy. T I'll tell you what. I think that is the philosophy philosophy of everybody in the in the, the society. I have set it as casual. I haven't set it as like ultra competitive. So um, I think people that are joining, there will be people in there that are competitive, but that's just the nature of what what it is. It, you know, it's a game, but um, it's still people like to enjoy the the challenge and the competition. But it is only a bit of fun after all. Um, how major Gizzo? How do you hit so straight every shot? <laughs> a lot, lot, lot of practice. I have been playing the golf club uh, from early access in 2013. So I played four years on the golf club one, and I've now been playing a couple of weeks on the golf, sorry, no, just over a week on the golf club two. And it just takes a lot of practice. Um, I use the left stick. Most people that are right-handed use the right stick, but I use the left stick. I do tend to, yeah, they don't always work out, as you can see there. I do tend to look down at my controller just to make sure my thumb's in the right position. You probably see me look down every now and again before reach. Uh... Oh, wow, I just took a practice swing and completely missed it there. I'm gonna drop a shot here. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to drop two shots here. He's sandbagging on player clubs. 
Um, I think I dropped two shots there. Um, just trying to demonstrate how I swing. I think I took a, uh, I took a swing in error, but nonetheless, we're so far ahead, it doesn't really make too much of a, an issue. Um, 13 mile an hour wind. Uh, do you use the left thumb or right thumb if you use the left stick? I use my left thumb on the left stick. So you can probably see that I use the left thumb on the left stick and I'm right handed. Sandbagging, he means I should be playing on tour clubs, that's what he means by sandbagging. He seems to think I should be up at tour level. When I look down, lag or stutter happens sometimes. Yeah, and that's why you'll probably see me in some cases. Um, I'll swing it just to make sure there's no lag. You see that, it's nice and smooth at the moment. And when you've done one or two, you don't tend to get lag. It's when you've done stuff like this, then you tend to get a bit of lag every now and again. But I just have one practice swing, not a practice swing, but I just swing and let the stick go and then it comes back down to rest. And then play the shot. See, I don't always hit it so straight every time. That is literally just gonna get over the water. So not a great shot there, guys. It's downhill here, so I'm gonna play this over to the right a little. Get in. Oh, come on. That one nearly dropped. I've hit the flag a couple of times in this round, but that should be enough for a birdie. And that should finish me at seven under par. Yeah, it finishes me seven under par. Let's advance this. Let's see how much um, how much money we get for this. Don't get an awful lot in these uh, in these offline things. You only get about 70, 80 coins. I do like that course. So I'm going to give that a five star rating. I'm going to favourite that one as well. Let's see how many coins we see. You only get 84 coins. I got 500 points for winning that event, so that will keep me way out ahead in the uh, in the season. That was event number six, and then event number seven is the Juno Cup. So I'm going to call it a day for that video there, guys. Whiskey Ginger, I'm pretty much waiting on you to move to tour, and I'll make the jump. What are the benefits besides extra distance? Seems like risk is larger than the reward on tour clubs. Yeah, I and I completely agree with you. I think for the extra 20 yards, I think, that you get with the driver, um, I don't think, I think, you know, just being slightly off, I hit some way outside the cone in that round, and I think I would have got punished phenomenally in that um, in that round I just played. So I'm gonna stick with the player clubs at least till the end of my offline season, which is this one here. It's 10 events, I've got four more to play, um, and then I may consider going up to tour level. But uh, guys, for those of you that are on Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, let's have a look. Frodo Fox, can you tell me if it stays, up, up, if the stats are updating, mate, as mine ain't? Uh, society statistics. Let's have a look. Society records. Is that what it is? That must be event records. Let's have a look. See if I can find the stats. Are they here? Hmm. Not sure. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm gonna call it a day on this video, guys. Thank you very much if you've uh, tuned in on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave some comments in the box below and also hit the subscribe button. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, it will help me get to that magic 1,000 subscriber mark. I will be straight back. I am gonna play um, I am going to play uh, Rider 0055's course, 
Um, I've just lost the chat on the Twitch stream, so Rider0055, if you could just drop the name of your course in the chat again for me, fella, because it has just dropped off. And I will be right back to play that very, very shortly. But until next time, guys, thank you for tuning in. See you soon. Bye now.